plug the original numbers into the formula, we just plug the summary. For example, B1 itself is a summary. What? You mean some of these, like some, like some of these, the yeah, some of the x, some of the y. These things should be in the formula. Well, again, those are already there, so you're not wrong because those already make up the B1. The B1 has all those things in it, so you're not wrong about that. But we already have that. Uh, Aljo, the answer is, and give the man a, a cigar. Thank you. Uh, and this is for you, Ting Ru. Uh, the answer, that Aljo said correctly, is. The SYX, because the SYX are telling us, it's like, you remember in the old formula, what, what was the formula here? Let's go back to this formula, back in chapter 9. X bar minus mu over S over the square root of N. So you're going to have, the X bar is like the, is like the B1, the mu is going to be 0, because you know, the, we have the hypothesis of minus 0. The S will be like the SYX, because we didn't, you do need a measure of variation, and up to chapter, the variation, how close the dots are to the straight line. So there'll be an SYX here. And I think, oh my God, I think I'm, I'm getting old and forgetting these formulas. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, and it turns out, uh, what? No, no, it's, it's, that's, no. The, the sample size, I, I said there'd be a sample size in here, or like an n or an n minus two, which you, I, I would have probably guessed myself it belongs in there. But in a certain sense, the n is already, remember the formula for the b1 itself has an n built into it. So the n, we took into account the n already. Um, and the, you'll see the n again. The next part of the formula, I hope I'm not writing this too small, is, and it turns out you were right, uh, I forgot about myself, that you were, uh, summation x squared minus summation x parentheses squared over n. I hope I'm right. I know, well, I know the answer, so we'll, we'll see if we get it right. Okay, now, now have we seen summation x squared before? Of course, that's, we did that for the, that's this part over here. Have we seen the summation x by itself? Yes, that's going to be the first column, the 10. Have we seen the n? The n is going to be the number of pairs of numbers, in this case, is 4. The whole thing is squ square rooted. The whole th I'll write it in a second. The whole thing is square rooted. Well, when you watch the video, you just zoom in on it. Um, the, whole, when you, uh, the whole thing is square rooted. But the biggest mistake that you could make is that it looks like you take this divided by that, and then you get your answer. Don't do that. This whole thing is to be done first, and that whole thing goes into the B1. So if I'll, write it, I'll rewrite it over here. Bigger. B1 is equal to summation. Oh, made a mistake. Joe, you had a question? Uh, let, me, let me write it bigger so you'll see it. Hopefully. Summation x squared minus summation x parentheses squared. By the way, this, this part of the formula is really what? Anybody maybe recognize this? Uh, you know, we haven't seen it ourselves, but maybe this is really what? No, this is, well, this, is, this itself is really a measure of the standard deviation. So basically we're taking, you take the, because you do want a measure of how close all the numbers are to each other, so it makes sense to have that as well. Anyway, please do this calculation right now. Well, what are you going to plug in for the B1? Quickly, what are you going to plug in for the B1? 1.1. 1. 1. What are you going to plug in for the SYX? 1.16. What are you going to plug in for this? You're going to plug in, I think, 30. What are you going to plug in for this? 10 squared or 100. What are you going to plug in for the N? 4. So please do that calculation. I think last year it came out to 2.12. If my memory is good, and if it does, we're okay. If it's not, I got to go back to the book and check out the right formula. Does it come out to two point? Some somebody please do the calculator. Now we can do it on our heads. This is thirty minus a hundred divided by four, which so it's a, so it's going to be basically one point sixteen divided by the square root of five. The square root of five comes out to about two and a fraction. So this comes out to about a half. A half goes into one two times. So I'm right. Is it right? One point sixteen. Remember, look, the SYX we did last lecture, Mr. Reed. I forgot your first name. One point sixteen. Two point twelve. So everybody who's not getting two point twelve can. Oh my God! Again, ten o'clock. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I'm sorry, I need third. I need sixty seconds, and I'm going to I'm going to cancel class one day to make up for it. Okay. Yes. Step number three. Step number three. You make a T diagram. 
you chop the alpha in half and make it reject just exactly the same as the previous chapter nine or other chapters. Reject a zero if it's really big or small. If it's close to zero, you accept a zero. You chop the alpha in half. They have to give you alpha, obviously, a significance level, and zero to five, and you have to know the degree of freedom. Now, what's the degree of freedom? Is it n minus one? No, the chapter is n minus two. N minus two degrees of freedom for reasons we said before. So please look up quickly on the T table the point zero to zero to five column where it meets row number two, and I think it starts with a four, four point something. Yes. Yes, T, T table. But you're gonna have to. I'll be giving you a T table for this next test. In fact, the only table you need for this next test is a T table. So I'll, I'll be xeroxing that for you. It should take about three seconds to look it up once you find the page. Four point three something oh three. Oh two seven minus four point three zero two seven. And of course, I should have labeled this middle part do not reject a zero, which means x and y are not related. Okay, x and y not related if you end up in the middle part. And finally, after all is said and done, what's step number four? Step number four is you make a little arrow, 2.12, is right here. It's in between zero and 4.3. You're clearly in the do not reject region. And if the original question was, are x and y related, what would you say, yes or no? Not related, x and y not related because we just accepted the A0. The A0 says that they're, they're not related, simple, simply following you know, 101 is 2. So um, the homework, of course, apply this formula to those three or four examples where they ask you the question, are x and y related, including the spinner project, and please do this for next time. This is a major part of the chapter.